Tonight, a proposal by the Trump administration to open 1.4 million acres of national wildlife refuge land to hunting and fishing is moving forward. That includes St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge below Tallahassee. If approved, about 8,000 acres of land will be open to deer and wild hog hunters, which is already allowed in other areas of that refuge. Other national wildlife refuges in our state, they say that they plan to add or expand services. So Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge, that's over in Palm Beach County. They plan to add frog and fish gigging, limited deer and hog hunts, in addition to the already allowed alligator and duck hunting. Now, if you're saying, wait, 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 no, National Wildlife Refuges are sanctuaries for protected and endangered species, you're right. That does not change. As one ranger told me today, hunting and fishing game species, so think deer, wild hog, that is part of conservation. Here are some of the big takeaways to know about this proposed plan. Adding or expanding hunting and fishing on a refuge does not mean a free for all. You have to get specific permits, licenses that follow federal, state and refuge specific regulations. Also, there are bag limits. That's the number of animals a hunter or a fisher is allowed to take. And those don't change either. But this is not a done deal. Maybe you think it's great. Maybe you think it is absolutely horrible. The National Fish and Wildlife Service wants to hear from you. And we also want to know what you think. On Twitter, we've been asking you, do you think it's a good idea? And right there, 78% of you say, no, you do not. 22% say it's a good idea.